Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And it's St. Patrick's Day, folks. Want to wish everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day. And that hat I have on actually is green and white, but we do a green screen, so it's blue and white. So we're going to start, kick off. I love this. This is an old Irish blessing, folks. That is a, just a great deal. I'm going to kick it off with that instead of a four agreement today. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Oh, yeah. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 267, Nasdaq's up 127, S&P's up 36, gold contract up $32, trading 1941 an ounce. We got silver up 80 cents, 25 dollars 51 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 876 at 103.80. Notes and bonds, the 10-year note up three ticks, trading 124.11. The 30-year down 10 at 151.16 in King Dollar. King dollars down 605 ticks, trade 98.014. Euros at 110. Yen is at 118.61. And the British pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so let's break this baby down. It's going to be kind of interesting watching how this shakes out. So we take a look at the SPY, what we have with the SPY is this, okay? We, we start from the very highs. The highs up here are at 479. Low was it generated out here in the 24th at 410. Bottom line, you came in, you tested it, failed. Tested it the second time, failed, meaning that it went into the low, rejected lower price. So what you had here is this. The, the, and this one here is really cool, folks. And this is something that you want to watch. Actually, let me put this up because when you get this happening, you know, you should get a bounce. Okay, so the first high volume swing low was 252 million. That was generated on the first leg down January 24th. Now watch how this works, 252. The second one went to a lower low, but it had 213. The test had 164 and the second test had 95. When you find something like that, that is, you know, that's quite a, a lot of testing and it's a market that can bounce pretty quick. So what do we get? Bottom line, you got the bounce yesterday. You get the Fed out, bottom line, they went up in the rates, market shook it off. I suspect what you're gonna get here, we could, this thing could get all the way up to this uh, 457, which would, you know, bottom line, that is set up a consolidation. What we have out here today is you are, you are already contracting in volume. You know, so that's saying that, hey, guess what? This thing's not done going on the way down. That's on your S&P. We take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, inside the three Qs. What do you have out here? Same type of setup. The, if we take a look at it, you're gonna see the first, the first leg down at the biggest amount of volume, 199. Second one, well, and the price there was uh, 334. The second low was a lot lower, uh, 18 points lower, 318. Volume there is 130. So you had the correlation, 199, 130, Test 116, an additional test is 79. You took off yesterday with volume 185. Now I can see the contraction. The contraction is huge. The NDX 100 doesn't look to me like it's going to get to the top of the consolidation. The NDX is going to probably have a somewhere, it, it'll probably try to make 350, but I think it's going to be a tough one on the NDX to get up to that level. Gold, gold contract, let's take a look. So what gold contract did is this, folks. The gold contract got all the way back to where it broke out from, where the ABC structure actually is, turned into a complex ABC, but the bottom line, it's still in there. If we take this, you're gonna see how this was shaken out. The bottom line is that the big day out there was the 24th, that's when gold got up to 1976, it didn't close there, and then bang, it just shot right up there again. We got down to the price point, let me just put the volume in here so you can see how light the volume was. I was watching this, uh, not a lot when I was, away, but on the bottom line, I was, I was surprised that even the last two days, the contraction and volume in the futures market was huge, man. The bottom line, you're hitting highs up there with 480,000 and 360, and then we just rejected lower price with 195, and you're doing 139 now. So 
Bottom line, you get a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And then if we go over to King Dollar, and we do look at King Dollar, uh, this one's going to be interesting with King Dollar. Um, to see if, in fact, um, you know, it wants lower price. I, I really, the, because it's been up here so long, let me put this up. I really thought that it was going to shoot into that 102 area. Because we had that spike high at that, yeah, 102.979. So we'll see where that shakes out. Meaning that it's had a hard time holding price. And right now, it would still be set up that it can go test that. Because it certainly is just coming down to the highs of the higher range. You know, once, once this broke over 96,338, that's saying that it wants higher price. It wants to go to higher price. We take a, take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Um, and what you have is this. You get uh, advanced micros down five bucks. You get Occidental up uh, five bucks. That's up almost 10%. That thing's been on a tear. Uh, you get Schlumberger up 147. Transocean's up 42. Uh, Roblox is up uh, 430. Uh, Square. So check this out, man. This is something you want to look at, man. Square, you know, I mean, this is the credit card payments business. And I mean, there's no doubt that that equity got toasted and roasted in a monster way. Uh, but what you have out there right now is that it, ca it came off the lows with volume. It, to me, see, that broke the whole downtrend. And we're talking about a downtrend that's extraordinary, man. Like it went straight down from 267 to 82. That broke it. That, in, in, I'm not talking about the last couple of days. I'm talking about the uh, going back on the uh, 20th and 20, well, 28th and 25th of uh, February. So it's going to be intriguing to see how this baby shakes out because let me put this down. This, this went back. Man, this is heavy. Okay, so you got a high volume low. You got a test. Pretty cool. Stay right there, folks. You're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up by 221. NASDAQ's up 90. S&P's up 29. We're going to be right back.